there was an assurance given to the princely states as a result of which and according to the petitioner in lieu of which they chose to join the union of india and therefore article 370 is the result of that promise which the dominion of india then and subsequently union of india and therefore 370 is to be treated as permanent so there were two state, uh, constitutional provisions namely article 291 and 362 which provided for the privy purses but the central government exercised the powers under article 366 and deleted the term princely states and construed that since princely states no longer exist there is no question of privy purses or other privileges the definition was princes the lordships are not, not required to go into that question right now this honorable court allowed that petition that so long as these two provisions remain on the constitution you cannot take away the privy purses by merely changing article 366 which is the definition clause and their contention is that this is what has been done by altering article 367 yes in the in our case they are trying to bring in on uh, bring our case on parity with the privy Purses they are also, one. Yes, but they are, their main plank of the content contention is that this was 370 was in lieu of our exceeding right. and therefore you could not have done it. But the after the judgment in Madhavarao's India, the government repealed or uh, uh, that is a constitutional amendment. Okay. Constitutional amendment under 360, correct. But will we not also have to look at the original Madhavarao's India? It, it is discussed here. Okay. It is discussed here and distinguished. With because Madhara Sindhya places limitations on the power of the union government to use the uh, root of an interpretation or definition provision to abrogate substantive, substantive constitutional rights. That is absolutely a correct legal position. But for 370, which provides that you can use Clause this. Three. That's, your, that's the distinction you are making. That, that's the distinction, but there is one more distinction. But you will have to then deal with the point as to why was it necessary to take recourse to 367 then? I, I, that, when I come to 370 the interpretation, I will deal with that. But here, in substance, if, if I were to summarize the ratio of this judgment in one line, the court said that any change in the constitution which brings everyone at par can never be faulted with princely states after formation of the constitution of india lost their special status and the word fraternity used in the preamble has to be given some meaning and this has the impact of bringing all citizens at par there's a little bit of a background about kurundwad state oh. kurundwad is a very small town very close to sangli and uh, Kurundwad is on the banks of the river Krishna and there's a very famous, uh, there's a place, a place of pilgrimage called uh, Narsoba Chivadi where lots of pilgrims come from across the country and once in a year the, the Krishna will rise and sweep the whole town clean, you know, because the, the town uh, clean and because the Krishna is very, and, and the lands are extremely fertile because of the Krishna river. Maybe that may be the reason why the human habitation must have Established there near yeah, the sources of uh, water and yeah. all, all earlier uh, or know, earlier civilizations are on the bank of the river. river. But here, kindly bear one factor in mind: 370 sub Article 3 has an inbuilt extinguishing provision. 370 sub Article 3 is a provision whereby 370 can be extinguished. That's the distinction. But I am on a, a little wider argument made by the other side. Lord, these articles even remotely did not suggest that they are temporary. As against Malot 370, which by its very definition says and te it's temporary. And I will also Malot be able to attempt to demonstrate that it could never have been but for temporary. Such a drastic uh, provision. The visionary fathers and mothers of the constitution would never have kept it permanent. Where two organs can change the constitution the way they like. But that's a separate argument. So what was done was by a constitutional order, which is unheard of Malod, except in 370, the Honorable President virtually declared two provisions to be nullity. Um, uh, in the merger or the other agreements, that uh, the President of India will recognize the ruler or something because of inheritance and otherwise. That was there. 
The smallest was one did, gun salute. They didn't refer to presidential orders in that merger agreements also, no. At that time, there won't be any president as such. No, there was none. No, because at the time when the agreements were signed, there won't be a... The, thereafter, the constitution was made and the, pres the honorable president was elected. No, merger agreements were signed by Dominion of India or subsequently Government of India by the Secretary Minister of State, Ministry of State. The agreement and covenants have no existence at all. Everything gets subsumed in the constitution itself. In fact, that is the proclamation which uh, Karan Singh issued after the adoption of the Indian constitution. 14, that right. Thereafter, the entire relationship will be governed by the Indian constitution. Yes. And yes. all previous covenants agreements will cease to have any application. They, they are, therefore, I, I say it, it, it gets subsumed. And now the final document is the constitution of India, which we have given to ourselves. No. Lord, even removal of some provision according to this judgment can further the constitutional objective and can be in furtherance of the basic structure of the constitution. Fraternity, equality is a basic structure of the constitution. It's a part of brotherhood, it's a part of equality, part of fraternity. And if any provision, Lord, which keeps out of the total composition of our constitution as an appendage, as a transitory provision to be removed at an appropriate stage, if it is removed, it furthers the basic structure and it enhances the equality and fraternity, which is the bedrock of the constitution. So, my Lord, in this view, my Lord, it, in my respectful submission, may not be necessary to re read Mother of Sindhya Jannan. If your Lordship would wish me, my Lord, I can assist your Lordship with that. But we will, my Lord, ultimately read the same paragraphs based upon which, my Lord, it is distinguished. That when you are doing something, earlier, my Lord, it was done by a presidential order in Madhavra. One definition was deleted, which the president did never possess. Even today, it doesn't possess. But only in one provision, that is 370, where you can amend any part of the constitution. So, explanation 367 mechanism is used. So this is the drastic nature of this provision. 371 permits two organs, the government of the president, my Lord, president would mean act and advice, uh, uh, Lord, uh, aid and advice, and the government of the state, again, aid and advice. Lord, please, please, my Lord, appreciate this. Two individuals, technically, the prime minister, and the chief minister of the state, whoever he is, can make any change, can make any alteration, can choose not to apply any provision, and like 35A, can create a constitutional provision only applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. That provision is exercised now as a last exercise to ensure that it never happens. 367 explanation is added. I'll come to that. But ultimately, it turned that without deleting Article 291 and 362, whether presidential order can be used by deleting the definition only. That was the discussion, which is distinguished, my lord, in uh, this judgment. Now, my lord, with your lordship's permission, my lord, I may but, go to. Uh, Mr. Solicitor, can you, can the abrogation? stand independent of the modification which is made to Article 367 here? Lord, that is my submission. Lord, even in absence of the proviso, Lord, explanation, the last explanation, what it does, it merely substitutes the term constituent assembly with legislative, with legislative assembly. assembly. Lord, my submission is going to be that in when the constituent assembly is dissolved without any recommendation, that part of the requirement goes because proviso, proviso becoming otios cannot result into the main provision becoming inoperative. Then the president was left to his own choice 
and 367 mechanism is of a malod in damnu your lordships have seen but so far as 370 what is was done in madara was that the a presidential order was issued because if you see the provisions of article 366 yes 22 as it stood prior to the amendment by the 26th amendment if you have this red book it may not be in that you will have to get it in the red book at page 372 now what happened there was initially after you know the 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 the, the, the proposed amendment didn't pass muster in the rajya sabha a presidential order is issued perpetually under clause 22 and the object was now we are derecognizing you if you are being derecognized you lose the benefit of your privy purse in article 291 that Presumed is assumed to be the consequence of derecognition right so this was done in exercise of the power which was conferred under clause 22 as it then stood prior to the 26th amendment our court said look by recourse to a presidential order you cannot override a substantive provision of the constitution namely article 291 and article 362 that was Madhura India. Correct. Then came the constitutional amendment, which was upheld against the challenge on the ground of the basic structure violation. Argument in this case is that what you have done essentially here is worse because there, there was a presidential order in exercise of a provision in Article 366, which gave the president the power to recognize or derecognize a ruler. Here, what has been done is that 367 itself is sought to be amended in exercise of the, you know, during the, uh, the, the we've seen Operating the modality. 370. To amend 370. Which has been done consistently and affirmed by your lordships. You know, the distinction is twofold distinction. A, 370 is the only article, was the only article which permitted the president to change any other article. So, 367, your lordships have shown, I have shown the chart that 367 mechanism was used in past. That's, that has been the convention. So, the only thing which happened, my lord, on 5th and 6th of August was that using the mechanism of 367, the constituent assembly was changed. It is not worst. There, my lord, there is a... The 367 mechanism which, which was used earlier to, for instance, substitute, you know, the Sadari Riyasat, etc. That was with the concurrence of the assembly. No, only once. That was three, that was 370 sub article 3. This, this, my lord, use of 367 is, kindly, my lord, uh, see the distinction. The, what was done with the concurrence was under 370 sub article 3. Constituent assembly was there in 1952. It recommended and the change was made. This time, it is under 371D. 